Ramin, congratulations on the White Tiger. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you've said, I've waited almost 15 years to make this film. Why were you hooked straight away? And then why did it take so long? Well, part of it was just a very close friend of mine wrote the novel, Arvind Dedigo. We've been friends since college and um, have talked, I don't know, twice a week ever since then. And um, I was immediately hooked by Balram Hallway, this incredible character that Arvind wrote, who's so funny and sarcastic. He jumps off the page. You don't know what to make of him. He's complex. By turns, he's endearing. And then you really are unsure about some of the actions he takes and he leaves you with a lot of questions. But throughout the novel, and I hope the film, he constantly engages you. He, he draws you in. And that was the real part of it, was that character's journey that I wanted to tell to an audience. A lot of this happened on actual location. There was no sets built for it. What were the, like, it's amazing to be able to do that, but surely there had to be some challenges that came with that too. I like location shooting. Um, I very rarely have shot on set. Um, I have, but I prefer on location. It brings other elements. Um, of course, it brings challenges, but it also brings opportunities. There's a great scene where uh, Balram, Adar Shkorov, the lead actor is, in a, in a rough state of mind and he's sitting down in the streets, the very chaotic streets of Old Delhi and a beggar woman comes asking for money. And that is a live environment. We have no control of it. I sent all the crew away. It's just a camera operator and a microphone. And in the script, Adarsh is supposed to just shoo the beggar woman away and say, I don't have money. But he wanted to do something different. I wouldn't let him tell me what it was. I said, you do whatever you want. I warned the actress playing the beggar woman, he's gonna do something, I don't know what, you just keep asking for money, whatever he does. And then he gets up and does what he does in the film, which is one of my favorite scenes and just starts shouting and tearing his shirt off and shouting at people in the street. I don't know any of those people, I have no control of that scene. It's just a live environment and all the better for it, yeah. What do you hope the audiences take with them after watching this film? I hope they'll honestly first just be entertained by, by the story. It's a fast, I hope, fun movie. The second half of the movie drifts into darker, more psychologically weird territory and, and um, still being satirical at that time. And, and you know, I, I hope it'll be a world they've never seen. I hope it'll be characters they've not encountered. I feel it's specific to India, but I think it's universal. I, I think with the you know, with the, the divide of wealth inequality and, and the age of COVID, unfortunately and tragically, may have made the film more relevant to people as they're struggling in their own lives and wondering, why don't they have a shot at life and how can they escape the trap they're in? That's the journey Balram is on. He wants to be free from the traps of society, the inequalities of society, to pursue his dignity as a human being. And I think that's something people can feel right now in the world. Well, Ramin, thank you so much for this film. I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you so much. Thank you.